I am back again and I have track lighting stuff. So I had to go to both Menards and Home Depot to get everything that I needed. I was trying to get everything I needed at Menards because it's 11% off right now, plus I had gift cards to use. So they had pretty much everything except for these straight feeds, which I had to go to Home Depot for. So this stuff is gonna cover almost everything that I wanna do around the perimeter of the space. The only thing I don't have right now is track to run along this truss closest to the wall. I've had this idea kind of from the start that I want to run a track from essentially wall to wall so that I can put track heads on and basically wash this wall with light. That part is more of an aesthetic thing than a functional thing and it's not really necessary. Getting this stuff has kind of blown out my budget for the time being so I'm gonna leave that alone for now and just live with what I have for a while. I think I will still want to do that someday but who knows I may never do it. So some of this is going to get kind of involved as I figure out placement and distance from the wall and all that kind of stuff. So I probably won't do a lot of recording in the process, but I will stop in for updates. I'm thinking that I'll probably start in this section because it's really simple. It's just one eight foot track. So I'm going to see what I can get started with and we'll go from there. So I meant to check in like four steps ago, but nonetheless, you can see I have this track placed. I just have to finish closing up that end feed. I have the wire run back and it's in this box. I did actually have to run the wire from this box over to this box where I had left off before. So this one is just about done. I think I will wait on tying this all together until I go and do the one over there. I thought about landing another box over there to come out of, but the way this is ending up, I'm only going to need the one feed over there, so I might as well just run a long wire over there rather than putting in another box. So as soon as I finish the end I'm on, I'm going to move over there. All right, you guys, it is actually quite a bit later. I had a little detour and had to go do something else for a little bit. Completely unrelated, but I am back now and I have already changed up my plans. So originally I was going to come down this way and then do the 90 degree here and run the track this way and then have a separate one going this direction. But with the sections I had on hand, it made more sense to make this run a little bit longer and then bring it around the corner this way. And then for this one, I think it'll end up where I'll have to modify and shorten one run of track so that it ends in this general area somewhere. I was considering just letting it run past and it would be whatever, but I think that I'm going to need that piece in order to make the length that I need on this side. So with the way this is set up now, I will probably end up feeding it from this end and I'll run over into this box. It's probably close to half the amount of wire that it would take to go from this box all the way to the end over there. So that just makes more sense. I'm not sure how much further I'm going to get tonight. I think I would like to get these two sections that I've done powered up. Beyond that, I think this is the next section that I'll tackle and see how much of that extra track I have left. Then from there, it'll tell me if I have enough to do this side the way that I want to do it. If I have to go grab another four foot section or whatever, this side will have to wait until I can do that. But I really won't know that until I get done with this side. So I'm going to try to get these powered and then I'm going to check in with you again. All right, you guys, so I have everything all put together and I'm going to go ahead and put some of these lights on and we'll take a look. Okay, here we are with some final results. I like this side. It's giving me what I need. I can spotlight on some of the wall stuff. These ones I can't aim too much at the wall because the sconce makes a big shadow, which really is perfectly fine. It's kind of more about the ambient light and the general output. It's not necessarily supposed to be about spotlighting everything on the wall. This side takes a little bit more strategic placement in order to not get strobe off of these larger fans. But overall, I am getting what I wanted out of the installation. This corner is much, much brighter than it previously was. I'm able to get a little wash of light down these boxes so that they pop a little bit more. So I'm really, really excited to see what's going to happen along these two sides. And I think just in seeing this, I will eventually do that section along this entire wall. 
because this wall is already just looking so much darker compared to the others that are already lit. But that is going to be a project for a little bit later on. I think for now I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to be heading out very soon. I'm going to try to tackle just a little bit more, but it's not going to be anything significant, and I'll just update the next time I see you. I'm back again. I have a couple of updates, and then I hope to have this track lighting done today. So flipping right around from where I'm standing, you can see I have this entire length of track in. I meant to check in a little bit sooner than when it was completely done. The other night after I left off, I just got the two tracks on the ceiling and that is all. I ended up doing two full eight foot tracks. I did not modify or cut the end of this one at all. There wasn't going to be any significant amount left over, so I decided to just shove it down further this way. And of course I have it wired up now. It came over to this box. This one is about ready to close up. I think I'll be running this side from further down so that should be good to go. Then from there I just had to pop my lights in and I am really thrilled about this coverage. I don't get too many strobe or shadow issues. The main one is the orchid here. You can see on the wall it gets a little bit shadowy but that fan doesn't run very often anymore so that's completely fine with me. It's been a couple days now since I got this done and I have been down here on and off so I'm starting to adjust to how it looks now. It kind of starts to not look like a lot once you get used to it but it really is impressive because this is what I have now and this is what I used to have. So it's really pretty significant and I'm not sure I even had those on full brightness to start. So over here I'm just going to stop really quick and address a couple of things. I did shift these rolling shelves over a little bit to the right. So then in going along with that I did reformat the lighting layout just a little bit on this track. With these the way they are now I have essentially eliminated all of the strobe problems I was having over here. It would be nice if this one could point downward just a little bit more, but that is what it is. And then just to address it, I did shove this desk over here. I don't think it's going to fit here in this layout anymore. Eventually it'll probably go over here or something, not entirely sure yet. And then in this corner I have some stuff going on. I am trying to reduce some of the reliance on the light kit in this corner. So I stuck up these little Kitchler chandeliers that I have. Right now everything is super temporary. I just wanted to kind of get them up and gauge the height and what kind of lumens I'd need over here. I think if in addition to these I could get one sort of downlight up in that corner when I do the track along this wall, it'll be perfect and just what I need in here. But like I said, this is all just a work in progress. I just wanted to talk about it in case you see these lights hanging up in the background of anything and are wondering what's going on. So now I'm moving on to this last section of track lighting. Since I didn't get any spare length off of this run, I did have to run and get another four foot section here. Not a big deal. It is a little bit more length than I actually think I need, but that's not a problem. I'll just run the tracks further past where I was going to end them. So I'm starting with putting that four foot section in the center, and then I'll branch off from either side with the eight foot sections I have left. Once again, there probably won't be a lot of recording going on here. I do really just want to get this done today, so I'm probably going to step back and do that, but I'll try to do a couple of updates along the way. So here we are with the four foot track in place and the first eight foot heading down this way. They're really not too much longer than what I need. I just obviously didn't really need them going within range of these small fans because I can't put a track head there anyways, but it could be useful in the future. In case you haven't been able to tell by now, I didn't do a lot of specific measuring here. All I could really do was guesstimate what I needed. There's really no exact science going into this, so I didn't really need a whole lot of specific measuring and math getting involved. And aside from having to go pick up one more piece of track, I'd say it's worked out pretty well. So this last piece of track is going to go up pretty fast, then all I have to do is run power, and the next time I see you we should have lights on here. So I had to just stop back in really quick because I've been saying how badly I want to finish this today, and I just about didn't. I thought I had quite a bit more wire left than I actually did. I came within inches of disaster on this one. Not a single inch to spare. I did have to cheat the strapping on this one just a teeny tiny bit, but it's good to go as it is. I just absolutely cannot believe that it came that close. 
but thankfully everything is tied together. This track is completely done, and now all I have to do is pop on the lights. Speaking of which, while I'm here, I only have six track heads left. I think that's probably going to cover this wall pretty well. It is six down this side, so I figure it'll be about the same to do this side. So when I bought those track heads, I was totally guessing on what I'd need. I had no idea what kind of coverage that would get me. Somehow, I think I may have purchased just the right amount for what I need to do here. And I will need to buy some more for the run along this back wall. So when I do that, I'll probably end up picking up some more extras just to have in case I need them down the road. But right now, I'm going to get what I have in place, and I will be back in a minute. All right, here we are, and I think this section has some of the best payoff. Even with the sconces, this wall has always felt particularly dark to me. This helps with that immensely, and just looking around the whole space, I feel like it makes all the difference. I said in a vlog a long time ago that based on these ones, I didn't think I'd need them on full brightness very often, and I think that still holds true. They are on full brightness right now, and on camera, I think it looks really good. In person, it verges on being a lot. So even if I just bring them down to something like this, I don't know if that even shows up as a difference on camera, but that just tones it down ever so slightly so that it doesn't feel like such a blast of light around the perimeter of the space. But anyways, I am really, really thrilled about this project. I guess it's not completely done since I still will have this end to do. But other than that, all I have to do is go through and close up the rest of these boxes. I can show you what I did with the one down here really quick. I just put a blank on and I did label it just so that I can keep it clear for future reference. I have been putting in a lot of electrical infrastructure down here and it's getting a little bit hard to keep track of what everything is. So with this part done, I'm going to head out for today. I'm not sure where I'm going to be next, but I will see you back soon. Hey you guys, so I was just coming back to record some updates for you, but before doing that, I decided to import all of my footage and do a rough edit to see where I'd be at for time. Turns out I pretty much have a full video already, so I'm not going to make this one longer than it has to be. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one out here, and I'll roll those updates right into the next video. Now that I have final editing that I can do on this video, I probably won't get back to those updates for a day or two, but I do have some pretty good momentum going on vlog footage right now, so I I do hope to keep that up. So anyways, I just wanted to pop in at the end here so that the video didn't end abruptly. Thank you all for watching today. Hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Click left to watch my last vlog or click right for the entire shop vlog playlist so that you can start at the beginning.